spirituality and becoming who you are. Now, I personally believe that your spiritual journey is a pathway of becoming your true self. Though I also believe that when we become so dedicated to our spiritual journey, that we can often lose sight of who we truly are at the same time. Like with all aspects of life, it's all about that balance and harmony so that you don't lose sight of self, but you un allow the unfoldment of who you are as you become the beautiful and divine being that is awaiting to be awakened from within. The reason why I wanted to share this video with you today is that I believe that so many of us, much like myself, become so dedicated to our spiritual path that we do lose sight of who we are. We turn to different mentors and teachers and learn new skills, which is incredibly important on our spiritual journey in many ways in finding who we are because it's through these tools and techniques that we connect with our own healing abilities that I believe that we all have as well. So whether it be Reiki, whether it be shamanism, whether it be, you know, connecting with tarot and spirit for divine guidance or whatever it may be, we're always looking outside of ourselves to find answers. And I also believe that when we look outside of ourselves, that we do find aspects of ourselves within, which is why it is in some ways important to seek that external, not so much validation, but that external guidance to connect with that inner guidance within yourself. But when we become so dedicated to that path, it's like we are forcing ourselves to be a certain person, an individual. And the truth is, you don't need to force yourself to be anything. For the natural unfoldment of who you are, your true self, will naturally evolve as you heal and grow on your journey. And the most important thing, from my perspective, is to learn how to surrender. Surrender to the divine. Surrender to yourself. And even surrender to the path at times. Because we all know that it's a spiral of evolution. As we grow, evolve and transcend on our path. And as we go on that journey, like always, we have those ups and those downs. We have those moments of despair and those moments of joy. Each one of those moments is beautiful in its own way because it helps you uncover yourself in those moments. Because when you're in those depths of despair, you start to realize that incredible power you have within yourself to achieve anything you truly want in life. That power and strength to overcome any challenge and, challenge and obstacle of which you face, which is important. But you have to embrace the light as well. Though I find when you are so dedicated to your spiritual journey, you know, you do lose sight of, of who you are within yourself because you're so fixated on becoming a certain individual that sometimes you really do need to take that step back. And the reason why I mention this is because over the past year, 2022, it's been quite a challenge for me. My life had turned upside down and not that I dwell upon that. But I've, st I've stepped away from my spiritual path. 
I stepped away from all of the <laughs> learning that I had done over the years and the teachings that I've gone through and I stepped away from my spiritual work and teachings as well in order to really in some ways focus on myself but to more importantly to surrender to surrender and release in the knowing that I can't change anything and I can't change anyone the only person that I can change is myself and that is one of the things that I think you need to realize as well you need to focus on yourself and loving who you are and accepting those different aspects of self as you surrender to that the beauty of who you are really does you know start to emerge from within I remember one of my mentors and teachers many years ago said to me you know you're not your work and that is with in relation to my spiritual work or the or the work that I was doing alongside you know the healing work that I was doing in order to bring an income and a stability into my life but I thought about that a lot because there are so many of us that uh, are seeking somewhat of financial stability that we do things that are off the beaten track, so to speak, off the spiritual path, which could be deemed conditional, you know, following the system in some way or form. But that isn't necessarily true. It's all about reconnecting with yourself and what you feel is right and true for you because there are no specific answers no one can tell you that you need to do things this way or that way but you need to follow your own guidance and intuition you know and often when we're so connected with that spirituality and that spiritual part we can be in that low vibrational energy of trying to make things happen, pushing ourselves to try and break free, to try and, try and create that abundance and that love of life. When as all I've said, all in many ways you need to do is surrender, accept, embrace, and honor the path ahead okay so these are just some of my thoughts with regards to spirituality and becoming yourself because when it comes to the soul pathway like you go on your journey in many ways to find yourself so you are connecting with these different aspects of spirituality these different mentors and teachers who assist you on your path of growth, evolution and transcendence, which is important. But I'm always a personal believer that you shouldn't specifically follow any teacher or path. You can learn the different tools and techniques and healing modalities, but you have to find your way within that. And that is all about becoming yourself. Because when you begin to do that, then what happens is you return home. You return home to self. You connect with your soul. And then you begin doing or being who you are. And this could be, you know, doing a certain job alongside the work which you do. It could be doing numerous things in your life to bring you that deep sense of fulfillment because we are not linear beings <laughs> we're very much you know multi-dimensional beings who like to do numerous things but who more importantly don't like to be caught up in the everyday you know hustle and bustle of life in the fact that you need to do and be a certain thing you don't need to be any of that so these are just some of my thoughts. So when you think about spirituality and becoming yourself, 
What I'd like for you to do is to surrender to your path and allow yourself to emerge from within. Because once you begin to release, the path does unfold for you. And it becomes much, much easier and much more blissful. And as one of my favorite mentors and teachers once said, this was Joseph Campbell, the universe will open doors for where there was once walls when you begin to follow your bliss. And this is all about following your bliss, following what you love, but surrendering to all that is so that you can allow who you are to emerge from within. Thank you for listening. I do ho hope you found that to be a valuable insight with regards to my meandering thoughts. With that, I will say take care, much love, and I do look forward to connecting with you in another video very soon. Okay, bye for now.